Joining me now inside room 442 is Michael Singh, and you know what that means. Toronto FC News and TFC make their seventh signing of the offseason. This time it's center back Sigurd Rusted. Mikey, what can you tell us about this guy? Yeah, 28-year-old center back. It addresses a really important need for Toronto FC. We've talked all offseason mm -hmm. about one of the biggest things that this club needs to address is their back line, and he is the final piece to completing that sort of starting four there at the back. So he's an experienced defender, has Champions League experience, Europa League experience, Conference League experience, is a Nor Norwegian international. So he's been there, done that, and he's going to bring a lot of those traits, a lot of that quality, a lot of that experience experience over to Toronto FC where it's going to be much needed. Yeah, and he joined Sean Johnson, Matt Hedges, and Raul Petretta. Uh, that some serious additions at the back. Mm -hmm. And clearly, this is a one thing that Bob Bradley and Toronto FC are targeting. I mean, back-to-back -back season, 66 goals conceded. You'd assume with these types of players and this type of experience, hopefully that can be cut in half coming next season. And that's definitely the objective, but you're right. It's a signal of intent by Bob Bradley in Toronto FC to go out and get those sort of acquisitions. Mm -hmm. Petretta, left back, also had Champions League experience, another TAM level signing. Move along the back line next to him, probably Matt Hedges, a really important signing for this club. 32-year-old, one of the best free agents on the market in Major League Soccer. Beside him is going to be Sigurd Rostad, another TAM level signing, and then Richard Larea, right, on the on the far right, right there. So those are four level TAM level signings. Then, Sean Johnson. So when you look at where this team is now defensively compared to where it was last year, it's a massive difference. And I think we are going to see a, quite a different result at the back. So, so far with these defensive additions, where do you rank TFC in terms of contenders? Well, if they're healthy, that's going to be the key. They're right up there. I think Phil the Philadelphia Union are a class above mm -hmm. everybody else they obviously won the eastern conference last year and made it all the way to the final and they didn't really lose anybody this season they brought everyone back and then some so they got to be favorites off the bat but right below philadelphia there's a big gap right because no other team really stepped up and made quite the improvements quite like toronto fc so i wouldn't be honestly i would say they're probably second in the east if you're heading into the preseason yeah. here which is a drastic improvement over last year yeah that's a lot to look forward to for toronto fc fans heading into next season uh you tweeted earlier today that Jaden nelson could be on the mm. move what's the latest yeah so Jaden nelson is in talks potentially to or tfc is in talks to potentially transfer Jaden nelson overseas to norwegian club rosenberg now, Jaden Nelson has been, uh, well, TFC has been taking offers on Jaden Nelson all offseason. Something I reported back in November that the club was looking to sell him this offseason. Uh, during last summer, what I can tell people is that TFC and a club in Belgium, Belgium's first division, mm. they had a deal between the two sides. And it wasn't until essentially the last minute where a club or a TFC pulled out of that deal and Nelson did not get transferred over to Belgium. But now I think he's going to get a, a move that he's wanted for a long time in his career. We'll see kind of how this plays out. But I think that there's something in the works here. We'll see how it plays out, like yeah, I said. What are your thoughts on Jaden Nelson? Do you think he deserves more of a chance at Toronto FC? He got quite a quite a few opportunities last year. I'm happy you asked that question because Jaden Nelson is a guy who is really polarizing because you can see the amount of skill, the yeah. amount of talent he has, but that hasn't necessarily translated into final product. So when you're talking to teams and TFC's talking to teams overseas, the talent that they're asking for, the, the price tag that they're they're trying to justify mm -hmm. that, it's not really reflective of his goals and assists that other teams overseas quite look at. So if you want to talk transfer value just quickly, I, I think TFC's probably hoping for a figure between three to five million. Uh, we'll see if they end up getting that figure mm -hmm. or it might have to be a creative maybe loan deal with an obligation to buy as we see so often. These deals are complicated and we'll see if uh, they can get it over the line here uh, before the Norwegian window closes. Yeah, and you can see Toronto FC in action on Wednesday. They kick off their preseason tour. It's the Coachella Valley in Invitational uh, against Vancouver Whitecaps this Wednesday.